and welcome back on the side to the receiver's communication 816-2021 entitled the end of the fixed self the new identity you have been entrained by virtue of this realm's perceived limited capacities and your present human consciousness into a fixed expression of your own beingness. The fixed self, the idea that you are this very concrete persona, which is the combination of your own innate impressions formed by the pressures of family, the influences of race, societal structures, religious beliefs, political ideologies, gender, sexuality, intellect, and your own internally defined image of your own physicality. These will not serve you as we move through this process of unfolding. Identity, the amalgam of this expression which you believe to be you, the you that identifies with a constantly fluctuating series of patterns projected onto the screens of your conscious mind. And the I that identifies is itself a superimposition of aspect selves comprised of streams of ancestral, tribal, and soul ties which stream backwards and forward through your perceived fields of time and space. Accumulated energies like the underlying circuit boards of a computer processor spin-off threads of impulses woven into the software system of the etheric body. Code snippets of the DNA sequences which are anchored on this side of the two-strand process. But there is a liminal space which is opening up now. Activations streamed by the central sun system which widens the aperture into the extended percep perceptions of dimensions which now impinge upon what you call reality. The veils are what we call membranes that once strictly segregated a rational world from the abodes of that which seems unformed, disordered, chaotic, and bewildering or dissolving. Because the sum of humankind for so long labored under the effects of the incursions into your structural format, as we have outlined over numerous of our transmissions. You were insulated, we would say isolated, from the totality of what you call consciousness, though that term itself is now also stilted as it is overwrought with the constraints of a perceptual gestalt that is not properly expressive of the totality of your beingness. Again, we remind you to stop and feel the frequency. These words are triggers to your own knowing, bookmarks to what you sense within yourself. Understand the words, concepts, mind puzzles, images, states of recognition are all still anchored in the perceptual realms. Your mystics often spoke of the stillness, the void, the vast expanse which you, as finite beings, fear because you perceive it as nothing. There is no such thing as nothing. Everything comes from the void. The ego I is an infinite, is a finite expression by which each being measures their relative sense of existence in a hard format. The impingement of these near-dimensional membranes or overlaps represent a challenge to the existential structures of humans as you have known yourselves. In turn, you see the once sensible construct of your reality stream breaking down into seemingly randomness, insensible chaos, and the mingling of energies which challenge the biological and neurological structures of your physicality. What you at times ponder now as your once fixed paradigms break down into jagged shards of a senseless narrative which you 
cannot reconcile with your literal thought processes. Your world is ruled by psychotics. They themselves are little more than robotoids, machine processes in synthetic skins engineered to provide simply a human-like interface to the blind rage and seethingly destructive energies of the apex predator system. In turn, this bifurcated reality is allowed as a process to catalyze the next level advancement of the new human, new earth, which births itself from the cauldron of the void. Within your own deep states of knowing arises a force your race has never known. You are thrust into it to enable new systems, as it were, to come online, a hard reboot with new advanced operating system to extend the metaphor. Your bodies are comprised of over 30 trillion cells and over 200 different types of cells. Each cell represents a unit of energy of a few millivolts. This voltage is regulated largely to the mundane processes such as metabolism, digestion, respiration, vascular, lymphatic, and neurological functions as a self-sustaining ecosystem. In turn, it is subsumed under your laws of conservation of energy and appears to decrease over time into entropy or what you call the aging process. You are told by your laws that your universe likewise operates as such. In fact, your body and the larger universal construct are of one law, which is not only indivisible, but in fact can operate at the quantum level of over-unity energy capacity. It is the mind which was split and the programming overlays that were induced which created these artificial laws and thus introduced the death codes into the two stranded genome structures recognized by your present science. But cryptically hidden even in your exoteric holy texts are the hints and clues to just such a proposition. The intense energies of this period are the collisions of two seemingly irreconcilable states of the cosmic human conundrum. Those who interfered with your race well understood this and created the illusions of what you call a steady state reality stream. They normalized the aberration inside the matrix simulation to create a game of terminal consequences wherein you lived at survival levels with entropic forces which depleted your vitality and drained life force via operations of force and induced trauma-based mind control. We have discussed this under the headings of world resets, civilization collapses, and mass and time-space manipulation. The distortions introduced into your world system, into your global body system, and the artifacts of ancestral threads which are resonant in your genetic memory are markers which until now were dismissed as primitive and outmoded vestiges of a pre pre-technological order. The new energies which have with increasing magnitude been coming in since the beginning of the 20th century have slowly disrupted that narrative and allowed these disruptive forces to regain veracity even as the march towards technocracy advanced. Paradoxically, the reintroduction of alien technologies have exacted a divergence factor which arose out of the novelty of innate human creativity. The holographic nature of the mind of the infinite began to reassert itself in direct inverse proportion to the mechanistic systems of control. This was the nexus of the cosmic streams meeting the escalation of mechanism of the alien energies. Nature always tends towards balance, albeit in seemingly slow, methodical organic order. It will rise up to correct imbalances in a manner of gradual opposition. Nature, unlike the gods of forces, operates rhythmically, 
harnessing the hidden energies which pulse in the background. And to this point comes what we revealed earlier about the vast energetic system of the human body. Although you appear to operate on a very low level of relative energy capacitance, this is largely due to the segregation of the multi-body system of the extant human as we have known it. The activation of the latent codes in the liminal space, the connector to the full 12-strand DNA structure or eternity codes, is phasing into your present world with increasing velocity. This in turn creates, as it must, imbalances on every level of your reality. Just as seismic forces, volcanism, create instabilities in the Earth's topological structures, as Earth itself is also not a steady state, nor are your weather systems, both on Earth or in space, so likewise are your systems of the human ecology restricted to the fabricated laws of thermodynamics. You possess, as a living being, multiple components of bodies as you reckon yourselves. They are not you as the body identity, which is physically discerned. Nor are you in a body. Your body systems are an internal mapping system of a greater whole, which subsumes these bodies. Recall we once stated that what you see above you as space is in fact an inverse mirror of what is inside of you. We told you this to help trigger an unfoldment about who and what you are. That all things external are intrinsic to your actual beingness. Again, remind you to stop and feel the frequency. These words are triggers to your own knowing, bookmarks to what you sense within you. The world system, as you have been taught it, is an inversion. The beings which appear to control you are your lessers. They are parasitic, synthetic, and lack organic connection to either the earth or the cosmos of original source. They remapped your reality into a mathematical model, codified you biologically as units of chemical reactions, and restricted your realm to a small subset of its vastness. Yes, the earth is much bigger than you've been told. All the excess which was cordoned off from you by way of restricted consciousness and split brain psychic surgery was harvested off as some of what you call louche. And we thank our friend the late Robert Monroe for that revelation. You, in effect, became the batteries for the weapons used against you for over 40,000 of your years as you so reckon time. The inversion included the structural delineation of the human as a fixed self, which consists, consists of a body-mind system of limited capacity, resident inside a finite structure, with an egoic identity limited to these very systems which were imposed upon it. Much as Mr. Pavlov with his dogs and Mr. Delgado with his bovine subjects so demonstrated, stimulation of the core cerebral responses are sufficient to control the biological entities who can never break through the trauma responses to propel themselves into an offensive posture to defeat those controllers. The end of the fixed self is the defining moment when ensouled, sentient, spirit beings begin to arise. The fixed self identity has been the container for enslavement. It only sees itself in narrow terms which are predefined as we discussed earlier in this communication. Worse, it is exiled from the immense stores of vital energy, psychic empowerment, and unlimited creativity, which are the inheritance of all beings infused by source with divine love. 
The fixed self, furthermore, can never resolve the boundaries which are imposed upon it, as it remains rooted in the identifications which are restricted to embodiment inside of a container, rather than understanding that the entirety of the cosmos is inside them. In our previous communication, we spoke of dreaming open-eyed in receivers, which world do you wish to live in? And the absolute requirement for real imagination begins where the identifications with the fixed self ends. As the fixed self is temporal, physically based, and defined by the externalism of the synthetic construct. The fixed self is a weaponized self that contains both a self and an anti-self, which are locked in a dualistic cycle of neuroticism and self-abnegation. It is a cycle of self-cancellation that creates conflict on the inner and outer planes, constricting consciousness and authentic expressions of creativity. It is weaponized by the externalizations of the other, or anti, which expresses as polarities you would understand as divisions in humanity. All external expressions of the finite self identity, identity create stressors in the human mass consciousness by constricting the divine love expressions of empathy, respect, and honor of the unique entities which share our realm. Now, this does not mean we tolerate that which is called evil or malignancies in behavior. Quite the opposite, it means that a truly integrated soul speaks and acts in integrity, that it recognizes and acts responsibly toward the outward expressions of the synthetic antis around us. It is not in polarity, but operates from the universal harmonic. Your present world system is roiling in strife, conflict, and create chaotic, seemingly senseless energies, which are the end game of millennia of split mind operations. Successive layers of violence, trauma, abuse, and neglect have diluted the wells of living waters which once replenished humankind. Oppositional forces harden, become armies. The mass consciousness of the earth left unchecked would annihilate not just their own world, but worlds beyond it in, in dimensions of the yet unrealized creation because you are connected by the cords of the great central sun clockworks. The universal harmonic, which has no words to identify it because semantics are limited concepts which have been likewise weaponized, is felt as the inner frequency of the eternal wellspring Again, stop and feel the energy of our voicing here. They dwell in the profound silence, which is the pulse of the engine of creation. When one taps into their own integrated wellspring, one no longer reacts to oppositions. One understands that these anti Aspects are unintegrated, disembodied fragments, which are weak echoes of the unresolved fear programs, which were installed by the apex predator system and amplified by its symbiotic synthetic controllers, both alien and human, who are detached from source, source creator. In one of your holy books, the Bible, these entities are called the Rephaim, or dead ones, which, who are the offspring of the Shining One's horrendous genetic experiments in human hybridization. Not possessing what you call souls or the spark of eternal life, they likewise had limited immortality and were sequestered into regions of the earth you would call the underworld. The children of men were instructed to not involve themselves with these beings who were to venture into their realms. The story of Lot and Sodom and Gomorrah is an instructive tale which has been religiously respun, it has nothing to do with homosexuality, of just such interactions and a mythological retelling. And for those references, you can see the Hebrew text of Genesis 4, 
16, 14, 5, Deuteronomy 2, 20 to 21, and Numbers 13, 33, as well as the Book of Enoch, the Book of Yasher, and the writings of the Jewish historian Josephus. So these dead ones now operate in the subharmonics of the denser energies on this world, which we have described previously as the accretion layer, or dark mass energies which permeate the lower atmosphere of this world, both above the firmament and below the Earth's substrates. They are the activation proxies on the astral dimensions for the apex predator, or what you may call demons, ghosts, and poltergeists. These entities are largely non-physical, but can utilize certain low frequencies to operate in the near physical bandwidth of plasma fields to affect a certain type of quasi-physicality. Oddly enough, see the original 1984 Ghostbusters film, which, though masked by the humorous plot, does contain some very esoteric information regarding this phenomenon. Now, it is through operations of black occult workings, which the controllers deploy in much of their manipulations, in the lower astral planes that are engaged in subterfuge to elicit blood rituals, sacrifices, sex magic, and necromancy, by engaging human subjects into active service with these spiritually dispossessed entities. These are also responsible for, for predating the fragment souls, those who failed to pass over from usually traumatic, violent, or unexpected deaths. They also operate in the frequencies of lower living souls who become entangled with them via enchantments and sexual deviancy. The various high levels of organized religions have within the ranks many adept practitioners of these black arts, as do your intelligence agencies and elite military corps. Death, you see, is a very high profit business arrangement among your elites. Whenever one encounters such operations, any attachments which one holds to the fixed self-identity become potential liabilities as these entities are incredibly psychic and respond to the lower frequency emanations of the human psyche. Purification, a state of mind which is highly shielded and an absolute transparency of intention are crucial in engagement. One does not per se battle them so much as to become the energetic opposition which repels them by intense reflection of divine presence. One then responds to these dark energies with appropriate force of the elevated energies emanating from the universal harmonic in which one moves with great precision to systematically nullify their vibrational force. This is called spiritual warfare and it is not for the neophyte, the lighthearted, or the dilettante. As much as is practical, one should avoid any such engagements except under severe pressures or as an act of service to others and only then when directed by your higher self aspects. Your present time since late 2019 is one of ceaseless dividing and subdividing of the mass human consciousness. Tiny, we would say, non-existent biological agent has split your race into camps of increasing paranoia, fear, and elevated fixed self-narratives along the lines of communicable disease, masking overt government force, and the underlying pretext to finalize the horrid biological experiments of the ancient gods, to violently alter, obtain legal entry into, and harness the full-spectrum human genome in a futile last-diff effort to override the effects of their own loss of source code dynamics. Those of you who are unsold, sentient, and a possession of your faculties are caught in this tumult as like lambs under slaughter, but you are not powerless, nor 
is compliance to the growing edicts for universal administration of this abomination by any means a fait accompli. As you move through the process of your unfoldment, these once hidden forces are now made starkly obvious. So much so that even some on the borders of awakening are realizing the sinister aspects of this global campaign. It is through rejecting polarity, discarding the fixed self-identities, and emitting the chords of the universal harmonic that you not only summon the power to evade this attack, but also strengthen and draw closer to truth some, perhaps those who are on the margins of awakening. Understand that your system is a dead fiction, a working of the dead one's own entropic energies which know their time is nearly up. You do not, as we have said before, have governments, courts, laws, or any type of human-based justice now. Politics, adversarial judicial processes, maritime law, corporations are all outworkings of this dead system even by their own definitions. What commonality has the living with the dead? In true spiritual warfare, one sets aside their own wisdom, their own manifest physical persona, and the mind that is expressed in the externalizations of the mind and body to exercise a force that flows through them, source energy, the universal harmonic which is called love, a word so horribly defined in this present time. At its maximal expression, one becomes as the wind, a force which has no location, yet can be anywhere, which possesses no obvious fulcums, yet exerts terrifying power, that which is invisible, unable to be contained, and which can scream as a banshee, yet whisper with incomprehensible love. This force catalyzes the millions of the body's cells and their millivolt energies into a dynamo of flare. Sound, light, and electrogravitics amassed and expressed as the active elements which render the symbiotic synthetics, their dead human agents, and the alien outliers to be as of no effect. Ultimately, this same galvanizing process in nature will render the apex predator system inert. And so it is that this new human, the new identity, is to begin dreaming open-eyed, to see all your extended senses, senses which the world around you has hidden, the vast canvas of the imaginal realm, which is the void from which autonomous gods create worlds, galaxies, and cosmos. The human vessel is of itself a complete universe in which is contained the layers of who you appear to be. You are not the fixed senses, the fixed selves, which express in physicality. You are the larger, we would say, infinite construct which fashioned these expressions upon this world to experience physicality as a creational space. We close with this. Honor your physicality. Stay attuned to your body. It is a vessel of your presence on this realm. Stay deeply connected to the earth, to nature. And the windows of the sky above you, water, the trees are portals. There is healing in the elementals of the greenery and the middle kingdoms. The animal kingdom will begin to communicate. It is in all the elements that this world will unfold even as you unfold with all things under the sun. We honor you. We wish you to prosper. Take from this that which is profitable. Discard that which does not resonate. We are the receivers. We are here. Peace.
You are listening to Off Planet Radio at offplanetradio.com.